Rolls-Royce took two months to develop the paint so that the diamonds would reflect light properly without making the car feel like sandpaper to the touch. The paint shop applies a third clear coat for that purpose. Doing so adds three more days, creating what is inarguably the most arduous, time-consuming coating process in the modern automotive industry, all of it by hand. The rest of the dusty roller carries the normal customization options for a long wheelbase ghost, such as the hand-painted red and black coach lines along the lower gray flanks and the red outlines on the wheel hubs. That kind of job requires a brush made with hairs plucked from a squirrel, not a precious metal, inside, the red, black, and white tartan behind the wood tray tables on the front seat backs suggests the owner is a Scot or at least someone in love with plaid pajama pants and place mats. Red stitching complements the seats and doors throughout the car, which, as in the Zenith drophead coupe from last year, splits the cabin between black leather and front and white and back. Damn phones, Babylon's came